Time now for the compound women under 21's gold a medal match here at the Indoor Archery World Series Youth Finals. And it's an all French affair here in Nîmes. So Leah Giro, closest to us, shooting against teammate Chloe Leroy. John, two teammates going up against each other. They'll know each other, right? They probably train together all the time and do practice matches all the time together. But being out here in front of people in this arena, it, it's a big changer. Leah Giro. We'll shoot first for gold. Nerve settling first arrow. Nine. Just dropping a little low for Le Bois. So 29 for Giro to start this match off. Opportunity for Leroy to draw level. Need to 10. Drifts out to the nine. So on first sight, a little bit of a, a wider group for Leroy. Two nines and a 10. Uh, but uh, it's a small target here. And a single point. At this, at this point in time, probably isn't enough, but in terms of momentum, it just feels like Giro is looking a little bit more settled. Time for the coaches to do their work. Nerves playing a massive part here, of course, going for gold, the uh, first big competition of 2024. Giro looking a little bit more settled. And certainly had the tie to group. Confirmation then that uh, Giro leads by a single point, 29 to 28 here in this compound women's under 21 gold medal match in Nîmes. Chloe Alawa will shoot first here on the far side. Have her nerves settled. John, it's a flying start for Leah Giraud here. How important is that start uh, compared to uh, outdoor archery when you're looking at indoor archery? Even more so because there's less that can affect what is happening you know, without the wind. Yeah. 
Uh, you can't just luckily get blown off and help your opponent out. Indoors, it comes down, as I said earlier, to absolute position. So nerves do play a big part. And that, that two and a half centimetre ten ring can get even smaller as you're trying to close a match out. Um, Giro, though, looks really settled. Well, just one point in it still. And uh, yeah, you, right, she looks at, she does look more settled, uh, Giro, but a couple of nines there. Is that just a, a little bit of a mistake? It, it can be, you know, the compound bow is so accurate that your the arrow does really go where your dot is pointing, yeah? And if you're not holding absolutely solid on the middle of that 10 and you're just a little little bit off in, in your front hand and your aim shakes as you point out sometimes, yeah? Your release aid will go off and that's exactly where the arrow will go. You'll be pointing out of the 10. Well, Giro looks a little bit more relaxed than her coach, that's for sure. Just a single point in this. Sometimes in sport, you have to grit your teeth and grin and bear it. Is that going to be the case for Chloe Loire in number three of this gold medal match? Very close. <laughs> that measure so important now. The second arrow for Le Roy. Dropping another point there, looking confident for sure, Giro. But uh, that measured arrow now ever so important. 86 for Giro, provisionally 85 for Le Roi, but could get marked up to 86. Critical measure, John. Very. This, this could really turn the match because Loire is looking more and more confident the shot is getting better and better and obviously uh, Giroud is the favourite by a long way in this match that will suddenly make her feel under pressure and we could see some really interesting last six arrows <laughs> we see the athletes talking to the coach and uh, I think John called it there Loire starting to just uh, yeah, her confidence bolstered a little bit. Shot process that she's going through, looking smoother, more clinical. Certainly got a steely look in her eyes. Giro trying to remain focused, but relaxed in the break. Different strokes for different folks. Athletes handling the break in different ways. Well, the, the measure went in the favor of Loire. A perfect 30 in the third end it means the scores are all tied. Six arrows to go in this gold medal match. Giro to shoot first in end number four.
The door opens. Doesn't take advantage. Still tied, though. Bit of a longer hold, and here is another opportunity. This is absolutely critical. A 10 for the lead. Drops it into the nine, and we're all square at 114 each after four ends and the pressure has just ramped up here john we we wanted to start the year with something exciting i mean this is absolutely brilliant as you said giro the favorite here but loire has clawed her way back into this one this this is just a match of i, I want you to win almost literally to each other there's, there's so many opportunities they're both throwing away yeah you know Giro had some early chances in this match to really get a hold of it kept just letting them slip uh teammates come back steaming back up and then Giro's literally like here you go and then millimeters everywhere this last end is so Tense. Giro is shooting first, so it's her opportunity to put the team pressure on her less experienced teammate. Huge match here to start 2024. Gold in the compound women's under 21 competition here. Indoor series youth finals. Archery, a game of opportunity. And when it comes, whether you can take it, Giro to shoot first in the final end. Nine. Solid into that bottom left target. Nine. Giving this away here. <sighs> My goodness me. Provisionally tied at 132. One arrow to go. Nine. That's gone into the nine as well. A 141. 27 for Giro in the final end. Another nine, but, but, we have a measure on here. 27s for the pair of them. Uh, that means a 141, 141. Uh, my gut tells me that, uh, well, yes, we would love a tiebreaker here, but I think the first arrow from Loire may have gone into the 10. John, yes or no? It's so hard to call. There's so much shadow up there, and she's put a lot of arrows in that hole. So I wouldn't want to be the judge right now. Well, I hope this is to shoot off. It's a tense measure here. Oh, like you say, the shadow on the left, bottom left, is not helping. That does look like it's out. No, oh, it's been marked up by the looks of things. Oi. It has gone to Loire on the measure. What a match that was. It needed a measure on a couple of arrows in the final end. One marked up for Loire, the very first arrow to a 10. The third arrow went down to a nine, but it was a 27 from Giraud that opened the door. And it was Chloe Loire from France 
who walked through it, taking the opportunity and taking gold. 142 to 141. Well, an incredible match, John. The first gold medal of the year going to Chloe Loire of France.